Hello. Today I'm going to speak about my remote control, RC remote control, which is an Urgal. I just buy it at the time and with under this brand. This was designed by the Chinese, I think, the Asians. And when they designed this, they designed a multi-purpose. I think they want to design a multi-purpose uh, remote control. So they made it like modular. After that, they just sold the patents to whoever wanted to buy it. Urgal was one of the company that buy the patents and fabricate the the remote. Mm, I think this is like Urgal is more like a Chinese, like an Asian brand. So the general brand it will be like Turniji 9x, 9x, which is basically the same the same model. Anyway, this is the model 1.0. This is like the first models. They 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 made it. Now, if you look at at this, you will see an antenna here. Probably, if you have the, if you buy it with this antenna, it's the the 1.0, the model that you have. Now, the history of this it was like this. When they designed it, they designed it like modular. They designed it for, I think, for all the continents, and it was designed for the start to sell the patents. For that, this, it's with the back module that you can pull it out. You ha I have a 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz module. I buy it with the station at the same time, like 10 years ago. I don't find, I don't find easy to, to buy receiver for these modules. Now, the reason I do this review is because a lot of people want to flash in the, the open source firmware and on some video on YouTube they show you how to do it and it works, but on other some they tell you the 1.0 model does not work, you cannot do it. Oh, that's not true because it's basically the same processor just the motherboard is just it's, it has like a slightly change uh, now I have a yesterday I was speaking to a friend he gave me this he didn't manage to install it on his computer so he just gave it to me I install it on my computer I buy the plug and I flash in the free firmware now that's not, it's not complicated, but it's not easy either. You just need to know, to understand what you need to do. Mm. Okay. Ahora, <clears throat> now, what I'm talking about, version one and version two, the, sec the first and the second generation on this model, it's this. Now, the second generation on YouTube, the dudes who flashing the farmer into, into these units, they all have the second generation, which will be this dot on the right side and these two free, two free pins, okay? My, my unit has the same dot, but it has it, has it on the left side okay. that will be that means it's the version the first generation okay the second generation has it on the right side and the first generation has it on the left side I don't know and this will be the the two main reason that some now I just find I just found out that it can some some of the reviewers on the YouTube they, they find a way to they find the same way that I find it to flash in the the new firmware in, in the unit in the first generation unit so what you need to do in this in this model you need to soldering on the wire not in this dot here but in the six leg dot in the right side of the two loose uh, loose pins how you do that? You just take a knife or something sharp and peel off the, the protector 
this layer that's above the that's above the circuit and just solder it there. You need to have you need to be very careful because if you screw that well it's like nine euros uh, a new board in Hobby King. A second generation board. So this is the <coughs> the difference in the in the two between these two models. The first generation has the dot on the on the left side and the second generation has the dot on the right side on the right side of the two loose pins okay yeah I don't know if you notice know that this is the first generation the second generation if it's the second generation just soldering on the on these dots here and that on the right side if it's the second it is the first generation you need to solder to the same dots in the left side but in the middle the middle dot you need to make like to peel off the, the protector here on the six pin and stick it there, uh, soldering there. Now I open the the unit, and you see the the plug here, the plug for the programmer. I don't know. Now I think the the thing with the dot, the soldering, it will not work only with the smart parts that it sucks solder less you know you don't need to solder nothing so it will be difficult with that part but we in that with that method but with this method which from my point of view it's, it's a better method this is a lot more cheaper and you you're not going to flush in every time you get home a new firmware so you just put it a a plug here and this is a separate unit that you can use it to i don't know flush in the the firmware in other to your friends or using to programming other stuff i don't know i just received this from uh, from a friend and i use it for this and probably it will be dying in into a into a draw now how you see i just because i intend to leave this like this here some people just destroy the the unit and put it around here like they will do with this every day well that's a bad method you will just put it probably once at a year or i don't know once at every time when you when you and it's easy to pick it up and leave the the unit in intact <coughs> now i i put hot glue on each on each soldering point because I don't want this to move and broke the the soldering it's very important if you have the one the first generation motherboard to put hot glue or some kind of glue on the on the pin with the problem on the six pin because that will be very very delicate and you don't want that to peel off or broke so once it's soldered just stick something put hot glue or pour some some kind of glue to to keep it in place the soldering will do the electric part the electric contact and the mechanical contact it will be the glue because that is a very fine line there and you want don't want to broke that anyway if you broke it uh, nine dollars or eight euros and eight euros and you will buy a new one but it's if you have it well why bother buying another one the processor now a friend of mine said it is like three kind of processors they, they are the same only the memory is bigger or or smaller uh, I don't know which one is this one but they are the same only the memory is different in like a variety of, of brands this is one of those brands. 
Now, the reason I open this right now is because these buttons here, because I have it from like 10 years, they are not working properly. I changed these ones, the themes ones, and now because they didn't work properly either. And now I just bought this because they don't have it in the same day. These buttons, these long buttons, they didn't have it in the same day. So I just ordered it and they came right now. I'm gonna change that on the motherboard. Other things that the people do with the ah, other thing, other other thing that I saw the people doing, and they are proud with it. They buying like a lipo, like I have it here, and that lipo doesn't have the plug. No, well, it's a different plug. Normally, this is a two cell balance lipo plug, but it will not work with the with the two cell balance lipo plug with the three cell because it's bigger and not fit okay you need to put that in a lot of people just cut this the original off which is a small plug i don't know what you use it for i think they have like a standard but it will not fit with this with this remote so the people cut that off and after that they soldering another one with another standard somewhere around here and well the right 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 way to do it is just cutting this one and put put the male fit for the station so that that's the easy way to do it I, how i do it just it cost me like four cents and like five minutes or ten minutes of work and i have a battery with a perfectly compatible plug with with the station not changing the station plug the the unit plug the battery plug with some other plug that you have it now <clears throat> i am processed to unsolder the the buttons this are uh, the buttons are like this put it on the other side you will obviously need a a pump Sucking pump like this. Anyway, a very good tip now. When you are soldering this, and you put the, you put the, the soldering iron on it, the soldering pencil, just let let it a little bit more, not not too much, but a little bit much, because the solder in these holes are it's an Till the other side so you need to 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 heat it all and after that just put the pump and suck it out if you just put it and you you don't wait enough it will happen like it happened to me here and this it will not suck all the it will not take out all, all the all the solder that will be a problem curious thing I sincerely, th I honestly think the LCD was like stuck on the on, on the case in, in, in his place. Well, it's not. So I almost screwed up. Now I just took out the connectors, the bad ones. I have the good ones there. It's very important when you take out the connectors, the holes to be opened. I changed this yesterday, so I didn't I didn't need to to take it out right now. Anyway, if the the holes doesn't stay open because well, sometimes it doesn't stay, you need to use like a needle. The needle it will not stick to the to the the soldering it will not solder so just heat it up and put it on and free the hole okay so i put the the new contacts the new button inside and i will solder it right now 
Okay, I finished this soldering. I'm gonna clean any kind of residue that it results by soldering, and after that, I'm gonna mount the the unit. Okay, so I finished assembly the the unit. I'm very happy with the fit. It works a lot better right now. I feel it it's it's okay. Anyway, if you want to flash in the new firmware in the first generation the Turnigy, do not forget you need to put to solder the 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 wire on the right pin. It will be like the those two pins on the uh, right side. And of course I use this. I don't know if a smart board will work with it. But you are free to try. Do not put holes in your in your unit. Just leave it inside and it's easy to open so you don't want to to leave exposed terminals or exposed wires outside because if you let if you leave if you put it like outside like this some people just put it here like this it will be like a lot of pins going outside that makes direct contact with your with your chip inside so that's a bad idea don't forget this is kind of like one time deal flashing up the the, the firmware if you want to do it like two or three times it's not it's not uh, so difficult to open up the the unit thank you for watching ah yeah uh, one more thing <coughs> I put the new firmware in because I like this. I, I don't look it. I didn't look for it. I just lost uh, the plane with the receiver and my my module, my unit module that emits the signal. while well, it's not compatible with the with the B receivers that are selling right now. So that was my initial problem, and I found out about this new software. I just I just have got lucky and put it in very quickly anyway I put it in and right now I put it in because of this image okay with the stick just the ball playing inside this this is very very helpful when you have like a glider or something like that you know for flaps or different things that you have on a glider now because I was used with the other software that was a lot more easier to try work with it Oh, this is a very difficult for me right now. It I, took me like half an hour to put a, a, a Sagi a flying wing to fly, a, the mix for a flying wing. So, <clears throat> it's that. If you don't need it, well, <laughs> don't do it. If you fly like, if or if you want to do it, do it. If you fly like a very expensive and you want to do something very uh, different mix and trims well it's worth it's worth the the bother than have a, like a new it's because it's like a new unit it's like buying a new one from hobby king or a new performance one so if we want that just do it it's like this is like i don't know hobby king is like five euros if you buy it from another place so uh, it will be probably more anyway I just got this for free and that's the reason that I did it because I, I just flying flying wings and gliders now this is like why this is nice this is cool but doesn't really help me anyway the switches around here I don't know how they are they you need to reconfigure that all over again and and things like that Anyway, thanks for watching.